Hello friends, in today's class, we will be studying the prerequisites for this chapter on engineering materials and applications that is dielectrics and polarization. Well, these are the most important topics which are related to electric field and magnetic field. So stay tuned. <music> Dielectrics. Now, we define dielectrics as non-conducting substances which are insulating materials and are bad conductors of electric current. So, the points are important that it should be a non-conducting, it should be insulating as well as bad conductor of electric current. These are the properties which gives dielectric a particular advantage. Now, what is the advantage that we are talking about? Well, just understand with a simple example. If I have a metal plate and I have a non-metal plate. So this is a metal and let's say suppose this is a plastic. Now, I have put a charge on a metal plate. The same charge of the same value and the same location I have put on the plastic plate as well. Now, what would be the difference? Well, in the metal plate, the charge would be dissipated or I would say the charge would be delocalized throughout the body of the metal. Whereas in a plastic plate, the charge would stay localized. It won't be dissipated across the plastic body. Now, this is the particular advantage of having a non-conducting material or an insulator material for a charge. What would be the difference between two? Well, the difference would be in a metal, if the charge gets dissipated, the net amount of charge on a particular point would be minimized. Of course, because let's say suppose you have some X unit of charge and which goes through about 10 units of area. So per unit area, the charge would be less. However, in case of plastic, this won't happen because the charge is localized or concentrated at one particular point. So, they can hold electrostatic charge while dissipating minimum energy in the form of heat. Well, this is the most important point that if a charge stays at one particular position as in the case of plastic, here you can see the amount of heat dissipated would be less. Why? Because the charge won't be traveling. Whereas in case of metal, if the charge is traveling through the entire surface area of the metal, then what will happen? The entire surface area would radiate out some form of heat. This is called as heat dissipation. Now, this heat dissipation causes the device to heat up. Well, this is the most important reason why we are using non-conducting and insulating materials as a form of dielectrics. Now, let's see. I have a dielectric capacitor. We have already studied what a capacitor is in the previous class. So, in a dielectric capacitor, basically I have two metal plates as you can see here. And there's a dielectric material which is in blue color which separates the two metal plates. It has two roles. First, it does not allow a direct short circuit between the metal plates which might cause sparking. It also provides a medium to store the electric energy in the form of electric field. Now, the examples of dielectrics are as I see in mica, plastic, glass, proselene and various other metal oxides and even dry air is an example of dielectric medium. Now, let's see the type of dielectrics. We have basically dielectrics classified as polar molecules and non-polar molecules. Polar molecules as you can name them, they have poles and non-polar molecules do not have poles. If you look at the diagram, they appear like polar molecules and this is for non-polar molecules. In polar molecules you can see when my electric field is zero or means I have not provided any electric field, still the molecules have different poles which is plus and minus. 
and because of the plus and minus charges they do not remain in the form of a circle rather they get elongated as you can see here because the molecules are polar whereas in the case of non-polar molecules for the same type of electric field where there is no electric field you have plus and minus same or means they have a circle which means that non-polar molecules do not form poles now what will happen if I turn on the electric field well if I turn on the electric field the polar molecules would get aligned towards the electric field whereas the non-polar molecules will also get aligned towards the magnetic field then what is the difference well the difference is as you can see in the non-polar molecules now the separation has increased initially there was no separation if you can see here there is no separation between plus and the minus but now the separation has increased similarly in the polar molecules what will happen when the electric field gets turned on the molecules will align towards the magnetic field now what is this alignment well let's study this in a simplest way let's say suppose this is my electric field these are my lines of electric fields so we all know that electric fields origin from the positive charge and they terminate at the negative charge so a electric line of force or electric field is nothing but as a line originating from plus to minus so what would happen if there is any material which is placed in between the field well let's say suppose this is a molecule which is placed in the field now the molecule which is placed in the field what will happen to it well with the flow of electric field the molecules would get aligned towards the electric field making a negative charge here and a positive charge here now how come this would be possible well you can imagine this with a very simple example if there would have been a plus and a minus charge here the electric field direction would be like this from plus to minus what would happen well this lines or these would be aligned in the line of electric field so basically let's say suppose if I have these orientations so on the application of electric field all will be oriented in the way of same order so this is what my dielectrics does all about and the process of being aligned to the external electric field is called as polarization so now if I want to define polarization polarization is when a dielectric slab or a dielectric material is placed in electric field then the dipole moment is gained by the molecule and dielectric is said to be polarized now what is dielectric as you can see the material now it is placed in an external field then the dipole moment is gained now let's see what does this statement mean dipole moment is gained now for this we have to refer to non-polar molecules let's take one molecule as an example we have a circle wherein we have a plus and a minus since this is a circle we can say that there is no separation between the plus and the minus charge now what would happen on the application of external field well on the application of external field the charges would be divided as plus and minus but remember it won't, it won't get isolated plus and minus charges won't get isolated from the application of dielectric field now if this is plus and if this is minus what would happen initially there was no pole or initially there was no dipole moment because the separation between them was zero I hope you all know that dipole moment is nothing but as the charges multiplied by the distance between them so here the distance is zero so the dipole moment is zero whereas here there is some distance which makes distance some value and of course charge has values as well so this would be having a certain value of dipole moment so I can say that initially when my E was equal to 0 there was no dipole moment but when my E was not equal to 0 there is certain dipole moment so this dipole moment is gained by the molecule and the, the dielectric is said to be polarized 
So this is what the basics of dielectrics and electric polarization is all about. Thank you.